Okay, so here's the thing. I'm off from work this week and I will be damned. I will be damned if I'm not gonna post a video to this channel. Part of the reason that we post so infrequently is because I work a full-time job and by the time I'm done working my, you know, eight or so hours, usually more per day, I'm just not feeling like making a video, okay? This is the problem we all have. We're, we're stuck. We're stuck in the rat race to pay our bills and to do all those things that, that need doing. Maybe all the adult stuff and isn't that isn't that the reason why we moved out here so that we weren't stuck in this rat race? How how do I find myself in this position? I, I don't know. So that's a topic for another day. But I'm going to post. We're going to post. We're going to do this together. I, I need you guys. I need you guys. Because without you guys, there's, there's no this. Okay? So I'm going to make a video. I don't know what this video is going to be about. But it's going to start with me doing something I haven't done before. And that's take the bus in St. John. Usually I leave from my house. Let's do this as I walk because I think I might actually miss the bus. I'm r running a bit late. So we're off to a so-so start. As you can see, the, the bus stop here behind me, that, that pole, is, um, that's it. I only know that this is the bus stop because this is right by us and I see people standing here quite frequently. So I don't, I don't know if that's like in St. John, the universal sign for a bus stop, just the, the, naked pole I, I i could be wrong i you guys could be watching this like you idiot of course that's the universal sign for bus stops i mean in toronto it's it's different and just i don't i don't know hello um good do i pay just with cash yeah. that's, that's the only way yeah okay Bert? Yeah. okay thanks Okay, so as I was saying earlier, I, I haven't taken the bus in St. John before. And to be honest, I've only really ever taken the bus in Toronto. I, I relied heavily on public transit in Toronto, alongside my bike, of course. Um, Niagara Falls, city I grew up, I used to take the bus to work, actually, back when, uh, back when I worked on Clifton Hill when I was like 16 or 17. And that's about it. Right off the bat, first impressions was pretty smooth ride i got here i mean it's not that far of a ride and i didn't have to transfer or anything the downside is it was cash only i mean who really has change who carries change anymore let's let's be real so i don't know i feel like a, a tap you know would be an improvement an easy improvement low-hanging fruit so to speak other than that no complaints other than that i i'm here i'm here a lot faster than my usual mode which is the shoelace express it takes me usually about 30 minutes to get to where I'm standing right now. So apparently my bus stop is just missing the bus stop sign. That's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, since we're out here, I don't know what we're making a video about alongside, you know, the bus thing. We're in uptown, so I'm gonna take you guys around to a few of my favorite businesses in the in the uptown area. Yeah, let's just see see what's up. I don't know who's open, who's not, but I guess we'll see. I usually check them all out when I'm whenever I'm uh, up here. So, yeah, let's go. Okay, stop number one, Tommy Supret. This little store is kind of like just on the fringe of of uptown. It's still uptown, but. You know, you gotta know where it is. And I kinda like that about Tommy's. This store is an outdoor adventure uh, accessory store. So they sell gear um, for out outdoorsy type of things, which I love. I'm a huge gear head. I can't get enough of it. I love this store. I really love this store, even though I don't spend a ton of money here. I bought a bag here last year. And the reason is, cause I just, I, I, I don't need anything. That's, that's just it. I feel so bad because I want to support Tommy. They're my favorite store in all of Uptown, but I'm kind of doing this thing where I'm trying not to buy things unless I absolutely need them and move away from consumerism. So I'm so sorry, Tommy's. But when I do need stuff, I'm this is where I'm coming. All right. Oh no, Tommy's is closed. Sorry guys, can't bring you in Tommy's, but can you even see in there? It's pretty 
pretty closed up. Anyways, next time. Definitely my favorite mural of town. Okay, behind me there, St. John Tool Library. Absolutely love the Tool Library. I'm a member. If you don't know what the Tool Library is, it's basically exactly how it sounds. It's a library for all those tools that you wish you had when you're trying to do a job but you don't and you don't want to go out to the store and spend a fortune on a tool that you're just going to use one time and it's going to sit in your shed. Anyways, yeah, Tool Library comes in handy. It saved the day for me on many occasions. The membership is pretty reasonable. I think I'm at like $10 a month. It's a great community initiative. Brent Harris, thank you for running the Tool Library and uh, one of my favorite spots uptown. Definitely my favorite ladder uptown. Okay, so the spot behind me uh, over there, O'Leary's, I was actually walking, um, you know, doing my, my little walk from home through uptown the other night and um, I wasn't planning on this, but I was, I was walking by and uh, it was nighttime and I saw, I saw a band in there right in the window and it, it looked inside and it looked like everyone was having just a, a jolly old time. And uh, I decided, uh, I, I, you know, why, why don't I just go in? Why don't I just go into that place? It looks like people are having a fine time there. And I, I ordered a, a pint. And um, this is kind of a, an uncharacteristic thing for me to do to just, you know, go out for a, a random pint. But I was inspired, I guess, by um, this, little, this little snippet I saw somewhere on the, the internet. Anthony Bourdain talking about his, his rules for life. And it was like, stop in in the middle of the day and get that pint by yourself in that city. And, not exactly it didn't line up exactly like that but it you know it was nighttime after all and I, I, I decided to just go in and do it and listen to some live music and it was fun so shout out to O'Leary's and when I was there they had this big map mural on the wall of uh, Ireland and Northern Ireland and it just brought me back I'm like man it just brought back a flood of, of memories and, and emotions and it was just yeah good spot so if uh, if you're around O'Leary's had a good time there Okay, and one more on the same street right over there. That is Brits. That's my second favorite restaurant uptown. Number one is Vegolution. Shout out to Vegolution. But Brits, fantastic tofu sandwich. My goodness, it's good. Got the cabbage. The fries are actually hella proper. Hella proper. Don't really eat out uptown that often, but when we do, it's Vegolution or it's Brits. This bookstore over here, I love going into this used bookstore and looking around. They have super cheap books. There's usually a clearance rack and I find myself walking out with a book almost every time, except the last time I had this book. They had one on the used rack. I'm gonna go see if it's there because I regret not getting it last time. It's only $2. I didn't get it. I don't know why. Maybe it goes back to that thing where, you know, I'm trying not to buy things that I don't absolutely need. But in this case, I feel like you can never go wrong with buying books. Books are always justified. Change. Can well, I that's okay. Why don't? Does, why doesn't this be just a little treat for coming in? Are you kidding? No, I can't do that. I do. Listen, I can do whatever I want. It's a bot man. <laughs> it's a dollar. Jeez, okay. Do I have anything? I literally don't. Listen, have it. I have one dime. It's okay. 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 It's cool. It's a bot. <laughs> Thank don't you fret. so much. Maybe you'll come back again. Oh, I will yeah. definitely. I'm actually making a video about my favorite businesses uptown. Oh. Oh, cool. Um, so I just gave a little outro or intro out on the street. I said, oh, I'm going in because I wanted to buy this book last time and I didn't for some reason. It's only, yeah, it was a dollar. So I'm like, why didn't I? What the fuck? Yeah. So thank you so much. No problem. And I will definitely be back. because Yes. It's... Yeah, that would be great. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Take care. Enjoy yeah. the rest of your day. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Bye. Bye. What can I say, guys? Like, you... oh my God. Are you kidding? I don't have a buck. I told you who carries like, you know, change around. But that just goes to show you the, the folks out here in this city. It's actually unbelievable. And I definitely will be back. And I hope you guys support this store too, because they're freaking 
awesome, as you can see. Sure sad. I don't know what language that is. It's, the Z kind of throws me off. Well, otherwise, I would say it was German, but like I wanted to, to land towards German. If you guys know, let us know or let me know in the comments what, what language is Scherzad, okay? I kind of think it's German, but who knows? And please, guys, support this store. They're awesome. I mean, you, you witnessed it. And right across the street from Scherzad is, is one of my other favorite stores, Pristine. So let's go see what's up. Crew over there, great guys. How's it going? Good. And we have my favorite rapper in St. John, Steven Hero here, representing yeah, Pristine. Big Steero reporting live from our slut era. Such clarity, sunshine, running mascara. <laughs> cool. How's it going? It's going good. How are you today? Good, man. Good. Nice. Yeah, sun shining, or it was when I was out anyway. I don't know if it is now. When I first moved here two years ago, and uh, I was walking at night and I looked in, I'm like, okay, this is a store that like I would I resonate with, right? Like yeah. I, I would. Thank you. But I couldn't really pinpoint like the style. Like, where's the inspiration for, for the clothes and the pieces that you guys have in here? Uh, well, it's kind of streetwear inspired. Um, I guess my background comes from kind of skateboard and snowboard industry. Uh, many years ago, I owned a wholesale skateboard company, um, worked in many skate shops, was kind of always involved in that, uh, in that scene. So a lot of it kind of comes from, from the design and inspiration from that whole culture, um, which kind of gradually evolved as I evolved, as, uh, as I grew older, all that kind of thing into, into what you see today, which is kind of a, a curated shop design to have a little bit of flair for, uh, for for all, for all demographics at this point is what we're really, really pushing at and uh, trying to push the boundaries as to who can uh, who can wear what and make it make everyone realize that anyone can wear anything. Yeah, definitely. I love that. But yeah, St. John is, is evolving uh, every day, particularly right now. Uh, there's a lot of growth in the city. Um, it's just kind of, it's got, uh, I've lived here for the majority of my life. And uh, right now we're on an upswing, a lot of positive things happening and we're, we're excited to be a part of it. Cool. Well, I appreciate you uh, giving me this interview and uh, yeah, thank you for existing and giving some like character to the city and, and giving us some options how we can present ourselves and, and look cool while doing so. Hell yeah. Thank you so much and thank you for appreciating what we're doing. Yeah, for sure. Wicked. Okay. All that walking, all that talking, heading over to Catapult now. Gonna get myself a, a drink. I don't know what yet. Get myself a drink. Nice stiff one. No, I'm kidding. I'm not exactly kidding. I'm getting a drink, just not what you thought. Probably get a matcha today. Had a coffee already. Let's go. Catapult. Talking about my favorite businesses in uh, in Uptown. And that's cool, where yeah. I came in to. Uh, the next YouTube video you're working yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So, yeah. yeah, we are at Catapult. Anything? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How long have you guys been here, Catapult? So, we've been here four years now. Okay. You know, a couple of those years were COVID and tight restrictions and stuff, which hurt us a bit, but we've got a, on the other side of that. We're doing doing better nice new back room that's creating yeah. some buzz which uh -huh. is cool yeah 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 we have been coming here like we missed this saturday but before that like every saturday for right like on, almost yeah. a month so. i never work saturday so it's like yeah oh it's so <laughs> busy yeah it's, yeah, so, it's so, heard, so busy it's nuts. Yeah, yeah come early so i get, get a good no, spot that's awesome yeah yeah and uh again all the proceeds from our coffee shop go right to the men's shelter in town and oh, really? to the food program we do and other initiatives to help the less fortunate. Okay, so, I had uh, no idea. Thank yeah, you for- Yeah, so every, every time you buy something here, you're supporting the community. Okay, yeah. man, yeah. that is so huge. How did I not know this? Yeah, That's awesome. So, <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Pre-pandemic. <laughs> it was actually during. Awesome. All right, there we go. Thank you. Okay, stand right over here so it's in the light. Okay. Okay, perfect. Red one. Yes. Red one. Yes. You came from Algeria. You just stopped me here and said you recognize exactly, me. Exactly. Yeah. And it's, I, it was. It, it's. It's really pleasant. Okay. So tell tell the viewers where you moved from and when when did you move here? Uh, just last week. Last week, so fresh. Yeah. And where yeah, did you move so from? Fresh. I'm from Algeria. Uh huh. Africa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you said you were a permanent resident, and you exactly. could have picked anywhere in Canada, but you picked Saint yeah, John. Yeah, I picked Saint John because it seems a beautiful city, mm -hmm. and of course, um, uh, your video, the, the, it's 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 inspiring, and it's just uh, enabling us to see how the the life in the city, and I I really uh, like that. What I like about city is uh, his style. It's like European style and even the diversity of people, it's, it's really amazing.
Okay, cool. So that's awesome. I appreciate you uh, allowing thank me you. to interview you and I wish you well on your journey here in the city. Yeah, thank you so much. Good luck too. Yeah. It was my pleasure. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. All right, and there you have it, guys. If you made it to this point in the video, you followed along on that whole journey to Uptown on the bus, which was, which was great, by the way. I thank you. We thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said at the beginning, this is all not possible without you guys. And, you know, after that conversation with Redwin, I, I had tears in my eyes walking up the street just thinking about that whole interaction. It was so powerful when someone tells you that they moved from across the world to Canada, but, but not only, you know, just Canada, specifically to St. John because of videos just like this one. It was a humbling experience and um, I, I just feel so grateful, so grateful, you know, for that and, and this channel, but also that what, what, you know, we're trying to do over here, just sort of show the vibe off in, in St. John a bit. It's, it's awesome that, it's awesome that there's people out there paying attention, people like you. So again, thank you guys. We did, we did just launch our Patreon. So if you guys want to become official patrons, which are supporters of this channel, um, becoming a patron is, is a simple way of how you can support this channel and, and help us to continue making um, content. So yeah, link is in the description, guys. Check that out and I hope you become a patron. Thanks guys. See you in the next video and I hope you have a good day. Yeah. I'm so glad I got this video out. It is came right down to the wire, but I did it. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm out of here. Peace. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Don't leave. Don't leave yet. I also want to mention, I didn't get to this coffee shop, but it's another one I really like. I just, I didn't have time to visit, you know, every single spot I, I love that day, but I want to give a shout out to Art Warehouse. Check out the Art Warehouse as well. Great little coffee shop. They do art classes there some nights. They open a little bit later um, than some of their, their their other coffee shop friends in the uptown region. So shout out to Art Warehouse. Took a couple, a couple business meetings there in the past and I just wouldn't feel right not mentioning them in this video. So yeah, there you have it. Art Warehouse and Catapult. Those are, those are our go-to's for for coffee. Timmy's, what, what can I say? We, you're a Canadian staple, but when I'm uptown, I'm gonna be supporting uptown businesses, plain and simple. Okay, that's all, I promise, I'm out of here, peace. Show